Hey there. <laughs> I guess by now you're probably wondering why I'm uploading the Crow Snow Circus Clowns light show videos. Uh, actually, I, you know, this is what I've been dealing with for now 42 nights in a row. This right here, as you can see. And uh, just, it's, it's my neighbor. Yeah, the neighbor from hell, definitely. And it's called the Crow Snow Circus because, you know, there's always different people moving in there, moving out of there. Some last, you know, 24 hours, some last couple of months. And it's always just an unpleasant situation. Um, but I, I have had four court cases against my neighbor. And um, I prevailed in all of them. So yay me. But unfortunately, every time I prevail, she gets more outlandish in her attacks on me. Um, and she has her friends, her flying monkeys, if you will, do things to me, assault me, harass me, key up my car, chase me off the road. I mean, she is just not a nice person, okay? And when she gets her tenants in there, she tells them, well, I'll give you cheaper rent if, uh, I won't even charge you rent if you uh, go destroy her fence, go destroy her cameras, go destroy her lighting, you know, just be a pain in her ass. And so these latest uh, Crow Snow Circus residential clowns are indeed <coughs> fulfilling her wish. Uh, you know, I have a restraining order against her, and she told them, the restraining order applies to me. It doesn't say you can't harass her. Ha, 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 ha. So um, I got to go back into the courtroom. And nothing helps me win my case more than evidence. So, yeah. I'm collecting as much evidence as I can. And in order to actually collect this evidence, because my phone is only 16 gigabytes. Yeah, yeah, I know. I need to upgrade <laughs> but I can't at this time I just I can't so um yeah it's 16 gigabytes and so the files from the security cam footage are too large to email to me because they, it's just the files are too large so I discovered of course that if I upload the video to TikTok splice them together turn it into you know one little video then upload it to YouTube, then download it <laughs> to my computer, which is two terabytes, and then transfer that to a USB stick so I can hand to the judge and say, here, <laughs> here's, here's my evidence of why I need your help. <sighs> yeah, 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 it's crazy, but right now, the as you've seen in the videos, if you've watched them, if not, I, I go watch them. It started off, you know, just like last year, about this time, one light into this camera right here that's on my gate that goes into the side there. And uh, then it became two cameras, one and another, ca you know, camera light on the back gate. And then it became three cameras. If you've been counting, yeah, we're up to five cameras now. But the last one right now is in the backyard overlooking my wooden fence. Now, this house is on a hill. So the top of my wooden fence is parallel with the roof of that house. So this kid... It, who is doing everything that the adults are telling him to do, he put another light on top of the ladder overlooking my fence, added an alarm, attached it to my wooden fence in my backyard, and now it's shining directly into my bedroom window. Now, you know, I just, I, I've put up with it for 42 nights. I've been very patient. 
I've called the police and they haven't, you know, even though it's a restraining order violation because they're acting on behalf of Crow Snow. So technically it's indirect harassment, third party violation. I have a no contact order, which means zero contact from her or any of her friends, family members, anything, right? They're, they're not allowed to touch my fence. And so I have alarms on that fence. So they're trying to disable the alarms and they do disable them. So I have to turn them off. So the rest of the neighborhood is not being forced to deal with it. I mean, you know, there, there's no reason the rest of the neighborhood should have to suffer because these clowns want to harass me. So uh, yeah, I turn off the alarm and I make it be a silent alarm. So my phone still notifies me, even though it's not notifying the rest of the neighborhood. And you know, these clowns, I wouldn't even have them on camera if they honored that it's nine feet. They're not allowed to come within nine feet of the fence, but I have it set for six feet because you know, accidents happen. You can step inside that perimeter, right? And they're destroying my property. John Matson, he's vandalized my retaining wall completely. Like I said, this house is on a hill and to replace it, it's gonna be pretty pricey. And this person doing the light show, he's only 14, 14. And his grandmother is telling him to do it. Linda Crossnow, the person I have the restraining order against, she's telling him to do it. And he's doing it thinking, you know, he's being a good person, I guess. I don't know. Who tells somebody to go harass the neighbor? And technically, it's elder abuse because I'm old, right? <laughs> I don't just qualify for that senior discount. You know, I've hit the age where, yeah, 65, I qualify in that elder abuse category. But I do go back into the courtroom. And so I'm just going to have to keep collecting the evidence it's showing what I'm asking for, a modification of that restraining order, seeking to make sure that nobody from this address can harass me, annoy me, disturb my peace, destroy my property. On behalf of Linda Crossnow, and even whether or not she's telling them to do it and they're just doing it because they want to, if they're at that address, no. I, I, I don't want to be harassed by them. Like I said, I've had, this will make five court cases. And in each case, I have prevailed due to the evidence I have collected on my security cameras. And I'm pretty sure that's why they're trying to blind all my security cameras. But in the meantime, just because they don't want to be seen on camera doesn't mean that I have to go without security. And uh, again, they wouldn't be setting off the security cameras if they weren't going out of their way. I mean, literally <laughs> coming up to the fence and destroying it, doing this crap with the lights, it turns it on. So I, you know, automatically have to rewind my, my security camera footage and see what is setting off the alarm. And if they just went about their day without even coming within six feet of that fence, I wouldn't even know they were out there. But five cameras, one pointed in my bedroom window. It's been 42 nights straight ha harassment. The retaining wall is being destroyed again. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking this evidence I'm collecting should help me in that courtroom. Or if not, well, at least I still got a restraining order no matter what. But um, yeah, I, I definitely need to expand this restraining order against Linda Crosno and all her friends or flying monkeys, if you will. So, okay, that that's my explanation for why you're seeing all these videos. Hopefully you understood what I <laughs> just, just said here. This is evidence for the judge. So, and it's the only way I, I can present that evidence by having the backup to the backup to the backup. Because if I lose my phone, I lose my computer usage, whatever, we have a electrical, you know, whatever. YouTube still has it there's a link to it, right? And uh, my USB will have it now. So thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for putting up with it, I guess.